Hi, first graders. Today I'm gonna to read you a story called The Life Cycle of an Apple Tree. And while I'm reading, I want you to listen and think about what the topic of the story is. That's what it's mostly about because you're going to write today about the topic of the story and then you're going to write a fact from the story. So a fact is something that's true. It's not something I think or feel, it's something I could actually prove. So be thinking about what the topic is of the story and a fact from the story to write about. The Life Cycle of an Apple Tree. And it was written by Linda Tegeliffer. Oh, she has a long last name. Apple Seeds. How do apples grow? Apple trees grow from tiny apple seeds. You can find apple seeds inside apples. There's a picture. I'm sure you guys have all seen apple seeds inside of apples before. Apples need sunlight, soil, water, and warmth. Then they sprout and grow. Hmm, I heard some facts there. Apples need, apple seeds need sunlight, soil, water, and warmth. Then they sprout and grow. Those sound like some good facts. And there's a picture of the sprout. Growing. Apple trees have one main stem called the trunk. Branches grow on the trunk. Leaves cover the tree. After three years, flower buds form. Ooh, there's a fact. After three years, that's when the flower buds form on the tree. And they open in the summer. Apple blossoms fill the whole tree. It's pretty. Parts of the flower blossoms turn into fruit. There's a fact. Parts of the flower blossoms turn into fruit. The little green apples keep growing bigger. Seeds form inside. Apples. Apples grow all summer and turn red in fall. They are ripe and ready to be picked. Some apples fall to the ground. They rot and the seeds come out. Hmm, I wonder what happens when the seeds come out. Do you guys have any predictions? Starting over. Next year, new apple trees can grow from the seeds. So when apples fall on the ground, the seeds come out and then new apples can grow from the seeds. There's another fact. The life cycle continues. So think about what was the topic of that story? What was it mostly about? When I think about the topic, especially on informational text like this, think about the title. The title was the life cycle of an apple tree. So if I was thinking about the topic, I would probably write just that, the life cycle of an apple tree. The life cycle of, and, and I ran out of space, so I'll just go down here, apple tree. And then I need to write my fact. So we read lots of interesting facts in that book. Let's go back and look. You can find seeds inside of apples. There's a fact. Apples need sunlight, soil, water, and warmth. Then they sprout and grow. There's another fact. After three years, flower buds form on apple trees. There's another fact. So you guys just choose one. When the seeds fall on the ground, then they beca can become new apple trees. There's another fact. So I might write the first fact. Apples have seeds inside, but I could keep going and I could say apple trees grow from seeds, from apple seeds. Apple trees grow from apple 
seeds that, oh, I've got Thor here with me at school, fall on the ground. So I, of course, I'm going to do my period at the end of the sentence. I challenge you to write more than one fact because we talked about more than one fact. So my fact that I wrote, I'm going to read to you. Apples have seeds inside. Apple trees grow from apple seeds that fall on the ground. I like those facts because they tell about the topic, the life cycle of an apple tree. They tell how apple trees grow, starting with the seeds inside the apples. So that's your task today. And then also at the top of this page, it says circle the nouns that mean show more than one. So remember, a noun is a person, place, thing, or animal. So first of all, they have trunk and trunks. When we're writing about more than one, we add an S to the end. So there's a big clue. The plural nouns are going to have an S on the end. Blossom or blossoms, which tells about more than one. I bet you guys are going to do that easy peasy. All right, have a great day. Bye.